Hi everyone, I am Ricky from ShareSite. In this video, I'll talk about the multi-period report. It is a report where you can compare your investment performance over multiple periods. Please note that this report is only available on our expert and pro plans. Without further ado, let's get started. From the overview page, select the reports tab. The multi-period report is under the performance insight section. Now we are in the report, the first thing is to select the periods that you like to compare. We have several default options here. You can compare returns by financial year, calendar years, quarters, months, weeks, or you can set a custom periods. The next thing is to decide how many periods you would like to compare after selecting the time frame. Click next once you have done. Here you can see the report has populated all the periods you have selected earlier. You can further refine the selected periods but we will just leave it as it is. Here it basically shows a total of 5 periods with each period covering a calendar year. Click next. Here you have the options on how you want to group your holdings. We will just leave it as default. Next, you can filter your holdings by label. We have another video that talks about how to use labels. I'll leave the link on the right hand corner. Be sure to check it out. And there's another option on whether you want to see your returns in percentage or dollar gains. Let's load the report now. After you load the report, the report will show you the total return over the selected periods. There is an option that lets you drill down into the returns of each component. You can look at capital gains, payout gains, which is dividend gains, or currency gains. Generally, there are two ways to look at returns over multiple periods. There is the discrete period and the overlapping periods. Discrete periods refer to specific non-overlapping time intervals that are clearly defined and separated from each other. In this example, each period consists of a specific calendar year as overlapping periods have overlapping times interval. Fund managers often use overlapping periods to show their fund performance. They will show how the funds has Perform over one year, three years, five years, and ten years period. So the one year return is included in the three years return, and both the one year and the three years return are both again included in the five years return, and so on. Now, should you use the discrete period or the overlapping periods to analyze your portfolio return? The answer is it depends on what are you trying to find out. Discrete periods are useful for analyzing and comparing data within a specific time frames. It captures the nuances of market dynamics such as how a stock will react under different economic conditions or market events. So you can identify patterns or trends that you can take advantage of to improve returns or avoid certain kinds of risks. This is just an example on how to use discrete periods to analyze your performance. On the other hand, overlapping periods move out any short-term year-over-year fluctuations. In our earlier example, if you look at your return over one year, three years and five years time frame, that provides a more balanced view across different market cycles. And that is very useful to evaluate the ability to deliver sustainable returns over the long term. Here, I'll use Apple as an example. I ran the report twice. The one on the left shows the changes in Apple's share price over five calendar years from 2018 to 2022. And the one on the right shows the share price movement over one, three and five years time frame. I've excluded returns for 2023 just to make it easier for comparison. First thing you notice is there's a higher fluctuation in share price movement from one year to the next compared to the return over one, three and five years. Apple's share price went from a negative 7% in 2018 to a gain of 86% in 2019, 73% gain in 2020, 35% gains in 2021, followed by a loss of 28% in 2022. So this gives you a sense of how things like trade wars, COVID lockdown, interest rates, inflation, 
and Apple's earnings affect its share price over those five years. On the other hand, when you're looking at the returns over one, three, and five years time frame, your attention shifts from how Apple's share price changes year over year to how it performs over the midterm. This allows you to find out if Apple has delivered a sustainable return over different market cycles during those time frames. This is how you use the report to analyze your performance over multiple periods. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more features on ShareSite. Don't forget to follow us on our social media at ShareSite. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.